Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 3. We're deep in the arc. I love this. Oh god, don't tell me we're going to be saying owned again in 20... 25, 52, I think. I remember because it's palindromic. I should have played a Halo video if I ever get to that many subs. I imagine I will. I think it's one of those things that might just be a matter of time. But might take a while. It's very easy to do uh, that sort of thing cheaply. Wherein you appreciate your newfound level of power. Um, but, like, it is cool to, like see these bosses that like they killed me before they're a problem they're a big roadblock and you're just like oh i'm in a tank though so you just blow through them it's one of the things that is really nice about vehicle levels in here. because your standard normal like artillery completely changes in scale of power regular enemies become like things you now most you know every single shot has the same power as rare special weapons you would normally only get every couple of like levels. Does anyone see what I see? Chopper all over. Form up on the lower doorway. Jane, get up there. Have your robot pick that lock. I have Monitor of installation zero. Yeah, well, you're also our ticket through this wall. The way that um Halo doesn't subtitle its its random enemy chatter makes it really hard to get into story, I think. Because I was thinking about like, why didn't I get into the story of this game when like it's it's possible for you to do that, you know? Like I could have if I had tried, but like there's so much gunfire and shouting and like The War Zone is not typically a place for polite conversation. Granted I would argue about calling most Halo conversations polite. Here's another one. I saw the worst post ever recently that somebody was talking about. Um, Did they not weight this thing properly? Come on, guys. Uh, someone was talking about how they had never played a Persona game before and they're starting with Persona Q2 and I almost just, like... I, I almost told them off, like... And I typically try to avoid doing that on the internet because, like, eh, I don't really get anywhere being mean on the internet, but, like... <laughs> Why on earth would you start with... A spin-off game. One that is like every joke in Persona Q is based around, hey, do you remember this thing that happened in Persona? Well or that's the punchline. You know? You need to do that like all the time. Buddy, if I could have tanks all the time, I would. There we go. A little more like half that. And like of all games to start with. Like every punchline in Q1, Persona Q1, is is just a joke from is just a joke from a persona game. And then all of the other like and then Q2 is a sequel that has even more jokes like that, some of which are sequels to jokes from Q1, like... They're also not really Persona games, um... Being spin-offs, they play more like Etrian Odyssey. Now, how is this relevant? Well, I'm glad you asked. Just realized I think my face is being covered. Yeah, I can there. There we go.
Much better. It's one of the things that makes me uh, a little more confident in my decision to ignore Halo Wars. Because when I was first doing the, the Halo Wars LP, or the Halo Reach LP, I was like, I want to do these in chronological order. Is it, uh, does, does this game start on, uh, you know, do these games start on uh, Halo Reach? And I checked the list, and the list, in fact, was incorrect, and I was like, good, it told me what I wanted to hear. I'll keep going now. And that was uh, really why that it uh, transpired by that. Did I? Thank you. Did you just shoot? But like, I I think that it would be really dumb to like looking back. I, I continually apologize how I accidentally played the Halo game. But like, I think I'm gonna stop doing that because looking back, Halo's a fucking first person shooter. It's not something like Oddworld where every new game is supposed to be its own genre. Or something like Borderlands where the one Borderlands game that isn't a first person shooter is like amazing. Can we go? Because for those who don't know, there are four, there are five Borderlands games. One of them is a Telltale game, and it's actually one of the best Telltale games, and it has the best story of any Borderlands game. Uh, and then the other four games. But like, Wars does not have a better story than Halo in general. And like, all of the Halos have been about Chief anyway. Drive, I want to shoot stuff. Whereas all the Borderlands are about, you know, this new cast plus everyone from the last few weeks. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I think that if I had started a a massive playthrough of every Halo game, and I started with a game that was not a Shooter, I, I feel like that would have been dumb of And so I'm glad that I ultimately went with the decision to deciding to go ahead. Wow, I didn't even get the chance to And playing Reach first. Reach is probably the best place to start for Halo period. Like, it far more exemplifies what a normal person in Halo is supposed to do. And, you know, shows you why Chief is that good. Because, like, he has one. And, like, yeah, that's kind of bullshit. Oh, no, no. Oh, cool. I don't really need this, though, so... We're going now, thank you. Fair enough. I guess I should. 
should have Kudo to shoot when it's fine. to see it. Jesus. You know, honestly, I could do a uh, replay of every Borderlands. The thing is that I don't really know how much interest I have in playing Borderlands. Borderlands 1 kind of... I hear people say it's great. I'm sure they think it is. But it is so... Every time I look at it, it's such an ugly game. It doesn't really... Like, benefit... From its own shell shading style. The graphics really are dated. And whereas, like... Oh, cool, I just... Great. Uh, whereas, like... Borderlands 2 still looks pretty decent, and uh, the HD pack that I, the HD like edition that I bought for PS4 also contains the pre-sequel. Uh, Borderlands 1 is just Borderlands 1. You buy that game too, and yes, it's been upscaled a little bit, but it doesn't have any other sales associated with it besides a minor price drop, as opposed to. I mean, you get all the DLC. Like, yeah. like, I don't know if I would want to play with Little Lantern. There's been a... Okay. I don't know if anyone remembers that I did this, but this would be the time to talk about it. For anyone who has gone back and re-watched all my other uh, Halo videos, you would know. But I got so upset trying to play Halo Wars because, like, it's not... It's it's too simplified for me to really get in on, get but it's position. too complex for for my dumb shooter brain to handle. So I had a uh, so I had a really bad time with it, and uh, ultimately did not beat it. I uninstalled the game before I finished my LP, and then watched somebody. Uh, Oracle, little bastard stung me. I did not want you to come to any harm. Got a funny way of showing it. Weird. Uh, yeah, so I just watched somebody yes, else's, um, like, all cutscenes compilation of it. And, like, shout out to them for doing that. Don't get up! I love these things. I love how crazy busted and how much damage these, this this stupid little pew pew gun does. Yeah, I wonder if I could um just watch all the cutscenes for Borderlands One. I mean, it's not like that game is a good story. Almost no Borderlands games do. One thing is that I would want to uh, play with my wife because you know. Good or not, Borderlands shines when you're able to get co-op going. Because co-op Borderlands is just goddamn fun. Mm. Oh, 
I, uh, so in addition to playing Borderlands 2 all the way through with my wife, and uh, the first DLC, Captain Scarlet's Pirate movie, I think. Don't actually know if that's the first, but that's what we played. Um, we later played uh, Tiny Tina's DLC Fun Times with her brother, my brother-in-law. And I immediately got shit for having a zero that was not specced for Sniper, and I almost just opened my mouth and tore the fucker's head off. Holy shit. I have been getting shit for not specking zero as Sniper since Borderlands 2 came out. I don't fucking care. The man has a sword. I'm gonna spec him for melee. That's more cool. And I've, I have been putting up with this for far too long. Zero melee builds wise up. He also ran around and grinded for, like, S-tier grog nozzles for everyone. But, like, my wife mistakenly noticed... My wife didn't even care about the, the lower damage. My wife didn't care about its additional effects and just immediately, like, scrapped it for its low damage once she noticed that it was still in her inventory. And, like, Dylan was like, no, you don't understand. It's... It does the level doesn't matter, it's tier placement and like I think we did shut it. the fuck up. <laughs> Though it was pretty fun to play uh to play the DLC with him. But like man. Sometimes it is interesting to see just how I fucking butt heads with the uh, like people who are so tier oriented. That's our galaxy. We're beyond the rim. Two to the 18th light years from Galactic Center, to be precise. What is this place? The Ark. That's this a lot. Is the Ark? I had always assumed it was part of a shield installation, but it seems I was mistaken. That's a first. Not at all. While I had a complete understanding of Installation 04, my makers wisely limited my knowledge of all other strategic facilities. Compartmentalization, in case I was ever captured. The fact that the flood can take over AI is fucked Here, and truth. Near one of the Ark's super aluminum communication arrays, I'm afraid. Unfortunate. The meddler has triggered a barrier, a defensive perimeter around the Ark's core. The barrier will be difficult to disable. How? Oh, mm. Getting sleepy. Probably because it's... Defense around a single... Holy shit, it's five in the morning. Oh, what is it? Phantom! Spark, move. We must get past that barricade for the matter of what's going on. And I had almost gotten my sleep schedule back on track. Guys, I'm going to I was hoping to try to kidnap it. Or no, hijack it is the term. Oh, it was supposed to be a cool moment, and I kind of ruined it. Whatever. What's up? I notice we're backtracking again. Anyway, I've gone on for long enough about Borderlands, but suffice to say, me and my wife have already played through the whole fucking thing. And like, I do want to play through it with her for the channel, and maybe with other friends as well, obviously. But like, holy shit, is that a responsibility? 
to say nothing of all the other things that I would have to play through, assuming I embarked on a whole, like, super game. Approval. There we go. Though maybe I could get a different team every time. That'd be kind of cool. Has anyone wanted Borderlands so you can have, like, 12 characters? The pack will feast on you! Thought you were slick, haha. -ha. Yeah, suffice to say, what a fucking undertaking. Cause like, playing through every Halo game, like, Wooly did that in... Wooly of Wooly versus the other like, channel ever. Uh, did that in... I'm trying to think of how long it actually took the guy. Like, a month? Is that it? Cause like, each one is like, two streams, you know? And considering he did the original three, Reach, and ODST, you know, but that's only 10 live streams or 10 days of work. Hang tight, Chief. We're on our way. Can I get some help here, Spark? There we go. So it is difficult, but it is possible to use a hammer and smash projectiles away from you. It doesn't work with hit scan weapons, only projectiles, and I think only some projectiles. And if it isn't all project and if it is all projectiles, then like most of them fire too quickly for it to matter anyway. Yeah, they made this into a multiplayer level as well. You can play this one because this one. say I'm something to be taken lightly, man. <laughs> yeah, like, Wooly also does hour-long episodes, so he went through every single Halo game in less than ETA 10 episodes, Stand by for and he uploads twice a day. So, you know, it took up, like, only a couple of weeks. But, like, to do what I what I and or Wooly have done for Borderlands, like, oh my god. Borderlands in and of itself is a super long Command. shooter. The Shot. DLC doubles Shot. the length of time that the game plays. I got it. No, don't shoot. They need us no harm. And then also don't Borderlands 2 is even longer or just yeah. vanilla. And what might that be? And then there's all of the DLCs, which double it. And all of the side content, and all the sort of DLCs. But yeah, suffice to say, I don't want to commit to playing every portal. I might do just two, uh, because two is really good and kind of worth replaying. Although I must say, might shut off the audio or change it to another language. Um, pre sequel is good, but I'm not sure if it's totally worth a replay. Oh man, that Halo track, Mario Donald blowing out my ears. 
Uh, and I might play three because I have not played it. But uh, I have not heard anyone say a single good thing about the story, so who fucking knows? And again, we're having another nostalgia level. Johnson, drop the chief at the first generator, then head to the third. The elites will punch right down the middle. Because this is just like classic Halo, you know? Alright, smart laser time. I like the variety of weapons that you start levels with in this. Man. That is a guy who got got really hard. <laughs> Up the beach, kill that wraith. Lost my wingman and our only hog. Over. Roger that, Hocus. Get out of there. I can't believe that this boat is called Hocus. This isn't Hocus Pocus. Like, do they mean the movie or the magic spell? I know that there is something of a crossover between the two, but. Never get game guns to play Halo. Hey, great job. Aaron would probably hate it because of his imagined hatreds of modern video games. Maybe Dan would like it. I have a friend who keeps bringing up the fact that, like, uh, Dan Avidan's sexual assault allegations, even though those were proven to be false, and, like. Every time they also bring up that like, well, only those ones are proven false. I'm like, oh, fuck you. Why, why, why must you do this? You know, that's not necessarily a joke for everyone. Not some wacky haha -ha fun stuff that you can just laugh over. I'm just venting here. I mean, shit. If you're this deep into my uh, shitty Halo LP. Because I imagine some people might have started at 3. Terrible place to start, as I can attest. 3 is a bad place to start at Halo. But um, I imagine that some people, you know, even if you're not starting at 3, or even if you are starting at 3, if you're this deep in, you must like me. And you know what? That's nice of you. Thank you for saying. Tell your friends. Do I dare say subscribe? Dumbasses, get in. I'm not sure how I feel about this as like a nostalgia level. Because like obviously it's a good level. This isn't a, at all a bad level. But the, the reason that it's like this is because it's meant to be nostalgia for Halo 1. Now granted, there is another nostalgia level that I just adore, where you return to an area in Dark Souls 1 thousands of years later in Dark Souls 3, which is great. Now granted, the area in... actually there's a couple like that, but the area in question has changed. Uh, it's, you know, in some cases barely recognizable, and it's cool to see how it's changed. Whereas this is, you know, exploring the idea that this is just a generic way that areas on Halos and any Forerunner area. Are these precursors? Oh, I remember. Suffice to say, um, exploring the idea that when the old guys build shit, they just happen to build it to look like this every time. 
And that's their thing. They love doing that, you know? Not that that's a bad thing. More power to them for having, you know, consistent style. Go, go, go. Nothing like cutting through and killing with the power of mankind. And of course, a typical FPS shotgun that only, you know, turns into hay after the operational range of four meters. I mean, four meters not much, right? Chief, you've got to offline that tower. Working on it. Well aware that I'm, you know, I have a job to do, as I am in the middle of doing it. Get inside that tower. Take it down. Uh, hey, fuck you, kid. Still yourself for now. Over here, I have him. Whew. Miss my Sentinel laser. I don't think there's enough guns in uh in Halo that are held from the top instead of the bottom. That was pretty great. Now we duel with these. Cool. Oh, man. I'm excited to beat this game. Like, I don't want to be like, I can't wait to be done with this game, but like, what I am excited is to like, Fucking close the, the the book on the the bungee chapter of Halo for my channel. I am ready to do that. You know, I think I've earned it. These games are cool, and I will really like having you know a whole era of a of a game up and uploaded and like just completely ready for people to watch. I think that'll be neat. I'm here using the ability of the plasma pistol to peel armor off of uh, larger enemies. I'm also holding my breath because, wow, getting stressful, getting tense. Can you stop wasting the ammo in my gun, please? Run the big boy out. Jesus. Where is he? Where is... Oh boy. Find the tower controls and shut it down. I know. I heard you the first two times. That satisfy you? Good work, Chief. That's one. The Arbiter should be just about to. That's two. It's all up to Johnson's team now. Get back outside, Chief. Wait for transport. Gee, I Johnson, wonder if. Uh, 
the one guy who's died before will. Man, I wish that like that was a real part of the lore. Because, like, obviously, Johnson, if you want to play uh, uh, an, a, an advanced futuristic space shooter that also has magic, go play Destiny. But, like, for those who aren't abreast of the situation, uh, Sergeant Johnson, the character mentioned here, does, in fact, die in Halo 1. Um, Chief, we saved some for you. I think his survival is only in a joke ending. That he then later dies in, if I remember correctly. Oh, hey. Still here. Dominant. Such dude bros. And I know that, like, this is the fucking space United States military here, but... I'm always appreciative of seeing, um new cultures develop in the space future because almost every single one is just space America and sometimes that's good for satire but Halo is kind of supposed to be played totally seriously the whole way through sorry I was itching my nose as you noticed there so I couldn't turn I mean I guess there's Dune but Dune has, like, space Russia and space Iraq and space Roman Empire. So I guess I, uh, you know, shouldn't give him the, the prize for it. Sir, got a flight of birds with the UN escort. Take the Hornet, get those pelicans safely to the third tower. Is this the first time we've seen Hornets? Because that's kind of cool if that's the case. Yeah, I love these guys. It's kind of interesting that um, UNSC has worse funding. It's like that's what Space America wants. They they want a a big scary enemy that they can justifiably just waste thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on. But, like such a thing will never exist because nobody spends more money on the United States. Nobody spends more money on military than the United States military. Who cares how many people starve at home? Am I getting too real in these episodes again? I feel like I am. Oh. You get this for free. Ordinarily, you'd have to listen to an annoying talk show. But here, you get me shooting at things. I don't think I'll ever actually make like a talk show. It's not really for me. We dogfight now, huh? I wonder if, I wonder if the any military. I was gonna say United States military, but honestly, like maybe Japan might get there first. I wonder if anyone will get to using lasers more than bullets at any point in my lifetime. Because I think that would be great. I want to see that. I was trying to get out because this thing is kind of unwieldy. It only goes down slowly. I like that they show you in the cutscene that they deactivate this huge ass beacon. Will you stop? And then the, the the beacon is how you tell which one you're supposed to be flying towards. That's a pretty uh, simple and good way of getting the uh, the direction the player is supposed to take. here I 
feel like there's not a single one of these that could be replaced with Chief. Just keep shooting, you know? Because things where they want Chief to open a door or do anything else, you know, maybe they could just code the AI to just do that automatically. It'd be a little hard, but Chief's a blunt object, you know? It's what he's for. Wow. Blown my speakers out. You got me, guys. Don't worry. No need to check. That sucks. What about this way? Can I get anything done sneakily up this way? Ah, those were coils next to me. Hey, there's coils next to them, now that I think of it. Come on, Chief. I would hate whenever your weird jump arc ends up, like, shoving you backwards. It's like a kid trying to do a parkour trick and just hurting himself. I learned recently. Karl Marx is, like, great-grandson. Posts parkour videos of himself, and they're called exclamation marks. You get to watch one because my attention span is terrible. But I've gotta ask, like, does he play it up? He's like, check this gap. It's about to be publicly owned. He pops it. No problem. Because I feel like that would be a good way to utilize your birth sign. No! No! Yeah, come around. Oh god. Wow. Johnson's team got God, huh? <laughs> You're an idiot. Wow. A lot of explosions. Love the passion, guys. That'll just do it, right? I'm very glad I got that over the edge. Damn. I mean, maybe I could actually just, uh... Because, like, I'm having a lot of troubles with killing all of these little guys. So maybe I could go find my way back to this thing. Warn it. You guys okay? You gonna help me, or...? Yeah, I'm having a lot more easier time this way. I do love the the vibe of going back to an old uh, old strategy to see if it'll work. It makes the overall strategies involved much more complex, which I like. There you go. 
Hold on, guys. You love to see a two for one, especially when I appear to be the only. Oh, now they're now they're helping. Thanks for nothing. Oh, watch your head. And now I have a close quarters to do with this. So this is definitely asset reuse. Am, am I correct in saying this? I didn't see it as a kid and I'm, you know, known for calling it out now, but like, this is definitely the same hallway leading up to the same kind of thing. Oh, hey, aren't you the guy for, uh, I think these are the two guys that show up in a co-op. Oh God, stop shooting me. Cool. So yeah, if we were playing four player co-op, these would be this is the squad, if I remember. And as mentioned, those guys don't have too much lore beyond they quit the covenant and are cool guys so they can be trusted and fight alongside them. Cover doesn't really work when splash damage comes out to play, huh? Wow, that's just stuck in my eye, huh, isn't it? That's kind of fucking awesome. It's cool to clear out a fucking cloud of them. Gonna take a shot. All right, everyone on. It's only going one way. In this tower and the barrier will fall. Go, Spartan. We have no time to waste. Fine, I guess I'll do it by myself. <laughs> Gotta say, going back, I didn't like. It's not that I was like, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate this game, but like, I knew that I, I do appreciate Reach more. I am just well aware of the fact that I like Reach more. It's why I kind of stopped playing 3 once I got Reach. Hey. I don't get to see the Mauler enough. Man. cool weapon and I don't get to use it enough. I would like to see something like this in Destiny. It's a switch, Chief, and the barrier will fall. I bet it will, but uh let me just clean my eyeballs out first, huh? Now, prophet. Your end has come. Hey guys, what's going on? Wow. Where did the elites come from? There should be enough dead elites to quantify that sort of thing. <laughs> that guy's stuck. Uh -huh. That's kind of weird. You can't take the last bullets up the floor. Shipmaster, what's your status? Significant damage. Weapon 
I can't believe that Flood has made himself enough of a fucking threat that he is now made the Flood the second priority. Like, I was like, yes, I think it is valid to almost, like, to glass Earth. Because containing the Flood seriously is that big of a fucking deal. Like, in lore and in story, yeah, it is kind of that kind of a problem. Hate to say it, but yes, I think those are acceptable losses when containing this fucking thing. But if it's like one flood outbreak on Earth and uh, a single forerunner installation, one that isn't even really a halo, versus all sapient life in the galaxy, really all sentient life, I think is how they put it. Like anything larger than a microbe. Top of these hills are one low higher. You cannot risk your capture by the flood. Chief, uh, feel free to start shooting. I got the gunner seat. Shipmaster's carrier is out of commission, Chief. I need you to take down Troop. Flood's just going to put pressure on him and accelerate his plans. Punch through the cliffs. Get inside that citadel. Like, on the one hand, like, Everyone? how. Actually, no, there is one hand. How stupid do you have to be to make everyone's primary priority you to the point that the flood is not the main goal? Uh, we've actually hit our limit, so I think this is a good place to pause it. Uh, I've been Alpha. This has been Halo 3. Next time, we'll do more of this. But I'll see you guys then. Thank you for coming. Um, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.